Fears of school shootings sparked an increased demand for devices to protect kids. Sales of bulletproof backpacks surged, and major retailers, including Walmart and Office Depot, are putting them on their shelves. KCAL 9's Kenneth Craig spoke to a parent who bought one of the potentially life saving devices. But it's just happening more and more. It's terrifying. Alarmed by the number of school shootings, Maya Rockefeller sent her son off to first grade with something new a backpack that doubles as body armor. This is called the bullet safe. Yeah, the bullet safe. The bullet safe panel is a $99 insert that can slide into a backpack. It weighs a pound and a half and is made from the same material as a bulletproof vest. I just wanted something that he could have on him. When I described it to him what it was, I said, this will actually help you if you hold on to it. Demand for bulletproof backpacks is on the rise. Bullet safe sales jumped more than 600% since last year. Other companies have reported increases as well. We took the bullet safe panel to the Rockland Indoor Shooting and Education Range in New York, where instructor Scott Vignola put it to the test. We're ready? As advertised, it stopped a 45 caliber handgun round. Worked very well, without a doubt. And a shotgun slug. It did stop this from penetrating, absolutely. But it was no match for an AR-15. The round went through the panel and three books. Definitely did not stop this bullet. It's not made to. We then tested backpack armor from Veterans MFG. It's built to block rifle rounds, but is three and a half pounds and costs $300. This one not only protected against an AR-15, but also an AK-47. The actual pain that's equal to what you just got hit with, with a bullet would be approximately hitting you in the chest with a five pound sledgehammer, but you're gonna be going home alive. The one Maya bought isn't rated to stop a high powered rifle, but. Sense of comfort there knowing that he does have some way to protect himself. Yep. God forbid something happened. Yeah. And she hopes he never has to use it. Kenneth Craig, Howell, Michigan. I'll be driving to that one.